Hi, I'm Anna Claiborne and this is a little video to show you my new book, The Mermaid Atlas, Merfolk of the World. It's an introduction to mermaids from all over the world and being an atlas. It has maps like this, showing you where all the different mermaids live. And then after each map, the stories and legends of the mermaids with illustrations of them too. The most amazing thing about this book is the beautiful illustrations by the artist Marin Asseine Laura. Here's one. It's the French mermaid Melusine having a bath. Uh, on a Saturday, once a week, she becomes her true mermaid form and has a bath, hiding from her husband who doesn't know she's a mermaid. However, he does find out that she's a mermaid and when that happens, she grows wings and flies away. There we go. Of course, not all mermaids are as beautiful as Melusine. This book also has strange and spooky mermaids like the Rosalka from Russia, a kind of ghost mermaid who hides in a pond waiting to pull people in. And of course, not all mermaids are female either. There are mermen in this book too, like the blue men of the Minch. They are mermen with blue skin, green hair and long green beards who swim the seas around Scotland chasing ships. I'm going to read a couple of mermaid stories and show you the pictures too. This is one of my favourite illustrations. Isn't that lovely? It's the Nomo, strange mermaid gods from space in African legends. The Dogon people of Mali tell many stories of the Nomo, the ancestors of their race. The Nomo are mermaid-like beings and have a fish's tail combined with a human head, arms and legs. According to the Dogon, everything began with an egg, the egg of the world. It contained Amma, the sky god, along with the seeds of the universe and everything in it. From the egg, Amma created the sky, the earth and the first beings, including the fish-tailed Nomo. The Nomo descended from the sky in a kind of boat-shaped basket, suspended on chains and surrounded by fire and thunder. Being mermaid-like creatures, the Nomo needed water to live in. They created the first water and dived into it and made humans drink from it too. Their name, Nomo, means to make one drink. They also taught people about the sky and space and became the guardians of the Dogon people. And here's another mermaid I love. She's Sedna, queen of the icy seas. She's an Arctic mermaid from Inuit legend from the North of North America. And here's her story. Once upon a time, Sedna was a beautiful human woman who refused to marry any of the hunters in her village. So her father made her marry a stranger who took her away to an icy island. There he revealed himself to be an evil bird spirit who held poor Sedna prisoner. Sedna's father came to her rescue and carried her away in a kayak. But the bird spirit whipped up a huge storm. Sedna was thrown overboard and sank to the bottom of the sea where she grew a fish's tail and became the ruler of the sea and all the sea creatures. This mighty mermaid queen holds the power to create storms and destroy boats, or to send fish and seals to hungry hunters if they sing her favourite songs to her. I hope you've enjoyed this little look at the Mermaid Atlas. It's by me, Anna Claiborne, illustrated by Maren Asiain Laura, and it's from Lawrence King.